Hi, welcome back to the Buckeye Gardener channel. It's a beautiful morning here in Ohio. Um, today we're gonna get our cold crops planted in the ground. I started these from seed. I got broccoli and cabbage and a couple collards. I'm gonna try them, see how they do. Um, we're gonna do a little something different this year. I've got some woven weed fabric I'm wanting to try. Um, I really wanna try it on my melons and cantaloupes, but we'll see uh, if there's room or not for them. I thought about trying them on some of these cold crops, see how they do. So I've never used this stuff before. Um, we're gonna put some down, try it here. And the reason I'm putting it here is because I'm also gonna put it with my melons, my watermelons, cantaloupes and stuff's gonna go next to it. I will just have one area of the garden that has it. <clears throat> so I thought I'd try it right here by the broccoli and stuff. Sometimes when the cabbage gets grown, it's hard to keep the weeds down around it. So we'll try and see how it does. Uh, so come with me, we'll see how we put it down and see how it turns out. Okay, I'm gonna put my cold crops right here next to my peas I planted in my last video. Yeah, sorry about my wire. Uh, I gotta keep the deer out of here. Um, I just run a tiller through the garden again one time, trying to get it broke up some. Um, it's kind of clumpy still. It was a little wet the last time I tilled it, so it's getting a little better today. I'm gonna take a rake, smooth this up a little bit while I'm out here. I don't have any peas sprouted yet or anything else, but you can see my onions are making a comeback here. They look a little sad today. I put them in the ground and I couldn't get a real good picture of them because uh, the light was behind them, so it was hard to get a picture. But anyhow, Here's how they're looking. They stood up the next day. I give them a couple big drinks of water. Let's get about ready for another one. It looks pretty dry. And they about need the crust broke apart in them, but that's how they're looking. So let me get that smoothed out right here. I'll go ahead and get some uh, woven fabric pulled out and see how it turned out. All right, so I smoothed this all up underneath. Uh, it was kind of where I turned the till around, had some hills in it. Leveled it up and pinned it up there, rolled it down to this side. I put a couple pins across it there. Now I've seen where you can cut it with a knife or you can cut it with a torch. Um, you cover the torch, it kind of melts the ends. It doesn't seem to fray so bad. I think I'm going to try that method first. Now, when I go to plant my plants, I'm going to try both because I'm just curious to see how it does. I'm going to burn some holes and I'll cut some and see how it does. I want to try to reuse this again next year if I can. So uh, we'll see which one holds up the best. So let's take the torch here, see how this works. All right, didn't go too bad. A little bit on fire there. All right, probably held the torch there a little too long. Not too shabby. I might redo these pens, get a little closer to the edge. I wasn't sure how far it'd melt back. I don't wanna get too carried away with it. I'll put some pens along the edge too as I plant my plants here and uh, we'll see how that goes. I might, I got some rebar I used for tomato steaks. I might lay a little bit on there for now. Just keep the wind from blowing it away. So let me get some holes cut out for some plants. We'll get some plants in the ground. All righty. Well, I got my plants in. So you can see on one side, I crammed these two in the end here. So don't pay attention to them. But the one side, I used the torch to burn a couple holes and planted through the holes in there. That should keep it from ripping and tearing. And this side, I just cut an X and then planted the plant down through it and folded the material back over. Now, obviously it's covered way better, but it may fray. And I want to try to reuse this piece again next year. I'm going to try to roll it up and save it. So we'll see how it works. But I got 12 broccoli plants, green magic broccoli, and 12 stonehead cabbage. And there's two collards clear down on the end. We'll see how they do. Um, one thing I notice is a little bit of water it does lay on us. Yeah, I already give them a drink there. Um, seems to run toward that other end. My garden's got a little bit of a grade. You can almost see it in the picture there. It slowly flows down to that end. So that's why I'm planting everything this direction here. That way, uh, let's try to keep the water from flowing. The first couple years I planted the garden, I planted everything nice and long ways. It looked nice, but every time it rained, it ran all down to that other end and kind of flooded everything down there. So got these in, got them a drink, just planted them with a little tablespoon or so of fertilizer in each hole, stirred it up so it went right against the roots. And I went ahead and gave my onions a drink while I had the water out and where my beets are. They should be popping up here any day. Hopefully, hopefully they make it. It was a little dry out there this morning, so. All right, so that's how I did my woven weave fabric. Uh, like I said, I've never tried it before. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. And the main reason I got it was because I want to put around my melons. They're so hard to keep uh, weeds down. Um, when I do my tomatoes and peppers, I always put one layer of newspaper and then grass clippings on top. And that newspaper will keep the weeds from coming through. The grass clippings are on and they kind of hold the newspaper down. It'll keep the moisture in the ground. works great. Problem is, is, is nobody gets a newspaper anymore. So I've got a limited amount of newspapers from my dad and my father-in-law. 
and I don't have enough to do everything in the garden I'd like to do, and it's really time consuming, so this was pretty quick. So I'm pretty excited to try it on the melons. I think it'll work all right. Uh, we'll see. Like I said, I won't try to reuse it. I want to buy this stuff every year. Um, I bought a big roll of it. I got more than plenty, but uh, so we'll see how it goes. It's a beautiful day out here. I think I'm going to clean some weeds out of my garlic bed here and around my asparagus and uh, get some stuff done outside. So uh, thanks for watching. And see you next time.